Hello friends, welcome to the December edition of Monthly Viewpoints. Global equity markets continue to perform well in November, led mainly by the US and China. However, the Indian equity markets were flat. Markets had fallen in the first half on the back of concerns on weak macroeconomic data, but they rebounded in the second half due to global liquidity as well as positive reforms in India. Globally, central banks have continued to maintain their dovish stance, which has led to increased risk on sentiment and a rally in equities. Foreign investors continue to be interested in emerging markets and India alone saw FPI inflows of more than $3 billion in November. Year to date, FPIs have bought more than $13 billion in Indian equities. Coming to the domestic economy, the second quarter FY20 GDP growth number came in at 4.5% year over year, while the headline CPI inflation in October rose to 4.6%. Consequently, the RBI, in a surprise move, elected to hold on to the policy rates at 5.15%. However, going forward, there are expectations that we will see a few more rate cuts to help revive growth. In addition, the government has already announced a few measures and additional measures are expected to boost demand, which will lead to a recovery in India's growth. The second quarter earning season just ended and it was a noisy reporting season due to the tax cuts implemented by the government. While the second quarter Nifty revenue and EBITDA declined marginally, the adjusted PAT grew 8% year over year, largely aided by the tax cuts. More than three-fourths of the companies reported earnings that were either in line with or above consensus estimates. Market sentiment also got a boost following a positive verdict from the Supreme Court on the SR Steel case, as well as the fact that the government has brought in the systematically important NBFCs under the IBC code. The government has also announced a major strategic divestment push with a divestment plan of BPCL, the second largest refiner, as well as four other PSU entities. Coming to our view on the markets, earnings growth has likely bottomed out and we should see a pickup from here as the economy recovers. For the full year FY20, earnings growth of 12 to 13% is expected for the Nifty index. The large cap Nifty index was flat in November. The mid-cap index outperformed the large cap, whereas the small cap index still has some catch-up to do. While the market breadth has improved, we still have to see a broad-based rally. In terms of valuations, while the risk-reward for large caps is fairly balanced, we are seeing attractive pockets of opportunity in mid-caps and small caps. In the current environment, multi-cap funds and large and mid-cap funds stand to do well because the large caps provide stability while the mid and small caps can provide upside. Themes which we are currently interested in are consumption, which includes the consumer staples, discretionary and retail segments, financials, which includes private banks, corporate banks and insurance, pharma and healthcare, and cement. Thank you and happy investing.